All right, we're still in Thailand, but we're really close to the Lao border, and we have uh, been on a train for 14 and a half hours, and we're now walking through the dusty northeastern Thailand, and that is the KKK Travel Limited partnership. So if you uh, want to KKK your way through the day, that's your way. And we are looking for the Thai Lao Friendship Bridge. And once we get there, we will hopefully get into the People's Republic of Lao. Oh boy! We on the Friendship Bridge. Friendship Bridge! This is where all the friendship happens. It's short-lived friendship. It's almost over. That's the Mekong River, if anybody ever want to know what that looks like. Looks like tide is low. Too much friendship for the high tide to tolerate. It had to peace out. Welcome to Lao, everybody. They're open from 6 to 10 p.m. They are open from 6 to 10 p.m. And Not then after that, and then after that, finish! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Katie. Katie. Yeah. And <laughs> this bowl of soup. Put your hand up so people can see the size of this bowl of soup. This is a big, big bowl of soup. I'm just gonna do some swimming around in there, and I got chicken. So our guidebook told us about a gym that we could go to, and if you know us, we're not gym people, so. It's a little odd being at a gym, but we came here and we got a one day pass and it gave us a lot of really good things. Let me uh, show you around a little bit. That's a pool. Yeah. It's a deep pool. It's a deep pool. Actually, Eric could get underneath all the water, even his arms straight up or underwater. So it's really, really deep. Um, we got to go swimming in this pool and we got to try out that lukewarm hot tub over there, which is really weird. And then over here, and hopefully there aren't a whole bunch of uh, people are gonna get pissed if I show you this. There are saunas and there are steam rooms, which I didn't realize that they were two different things, but apparently they are, so that was really cool. Um, was that your first time sauna eyeing? It was. That was our first sauna and our first steam. Hot. It's intense. How long was I in there? You were in there for at least 10 minutes. I was sitting out there going, he's probably dead. It's like 150 <laughs> degrees in there, easy. And then on top of that, we got to go to this spa right here. And we both got an hour long massage, which was Eric's first massage. Was it good? I think it moved. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really good. And, um,. That has been our afternoon. It's our first day in Lao, so that's pretty good. And all of that cost us six dollars, which is pretty amazing because I think about I got one massage in the states before I left with my mom, and just the hour-long massage was thirty-five dollars. Right now we're at a park called Buddha Park. I can't pronounce it in Lao, so you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that I'm calling it Buddha Park. It is what it's called, but anyways. Basically at this park, there are a whole bunch of sculptures that were done by this really eccentric man. And you'll see more of those in a moment. We're more interested in this gigantic, <laughs> in this gigantic, uh, show what, oh the top. In this gigantic uh, statue that you can go into. Um, basically it's three levels and you start off going in the first level, which is representative of hell. So you're walking into the mouth of hell. That's oh. going to be creepy. Hell's not so bad. Hell ain't so bad. <laughs> you're just playing around. Then you can go up these stairwells. The next level is earth. Mm 
You can go in there. Here's some footage that I shot of Earth while uh, Crazy Guy wasn't in there. Um, I do want to talk about him though because we walked into the room and this guy had taken off his shoes, he was kneeling on the artwork, and he was praying to one of the sculptures in the room. And I am all for people being whatever type of religion they want and worshipping any way that they want. And it's cool that this guy was doing whatever. Um, he was kind of just hit his arms up in the air and was making little chanting noises and it was just a little awkward because we didn't really go there for like we've been to Watts and stuff like that and been around people praying but this was not that kind of place it was more of an art place than it was a religious place uh, but anyways um, once we went up onto the roof this guy was up there and he was visibly sh about to start crying and it was just a little odd nobody else was on his level now we are in what is heaven Seems really dark. Yeah. Heaven's got a power outage. Power outage. Can you see better through here now? Nope. Well, heaven doesn't look too amazing apparently if you can't see it. I think you have to go in there to go up. Oh, no. <gasps> Watch your head. Can you fit? Um, And then you're able to get up to the top, top. And now you can see the entire park. It's pretty cool. Hello. We're getting some waves. <laughs> <laughs>